What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. And uh, So today we got a new vehicle for the channel. Uh, we, or I no longer own the C43 anymore. Uh, decided to sell it for a uh, pick em up truck. So a lot of people are probably gonna be like, why did I sell the AMG for a pickup truck? And honestly, you, you can't beat the practicality. It's got four doors, they're massive, you could fit five people comfortably, you can tow with it, you can haul things in the bed. Um, this one in particular has a, it's a, it's an L86 V8, which is the same that's in the Corvette, which has the LT1, the only difference is the intake manifold. So if you know anything about cars, this has a 6.2 liter, 420 horsepower and 460 pound-feet of torque. And uh, yeah, today we're gonna give you the quick rundown of it and what the plans are and uh, Go over and introduce it to the channel, I guess. So, Joe, you want to? Yeah, yeah, sure. Um, first, I, I just like to start by pointing something out, guys. It's got 22s. It's got 22s. It's got, it's got 22s. <laughs> I mean, who needs 22s on a pickup truck? I don't, but I sure like them. <laughs> it makes the tires bigger without a really doing anything to it <coughs> all right it's so much wheel so jerry why don't we start with a little little walk around here go through all the tidbits all the technology package stuff yep. and then uh we'll take the fine people to the engine bay before we take them to the interior and then a little uh little drive around yep do that. okay so this is the denali ultimate package so what that includes is as joe mentioned the 22 inch wheels big wheels um comes with chrome inserts there's an option i think you can get black inserts too it has the power retractable running board so you open the door and they open up and actually the cool thing is about these they're not just retractable they're they call them triway running boards so when you hit this button back here you can kick it with your foot right, zoom in on that that button right there if you hit that which i'll demonstrate for you right now it goes past its normal spot into the way back spot, the third position, so you can get into the bed easily. I mean, like, why doesn't everybody do that? You know, you would think, especially with the, you know, nobody makes a step side anymore. Mm -hmm. uh, hold on. Hold, oh, my God. I'm, uh, <laughs> the camera. <laughs> hold on. <laughs> okay. Crisis averted. <laughs> Anyways. It, uh, and what else does it have? It has magnetic ride shocks, which is specific to the Denali's actually, not the ultimate package. So, so what, what does that compare that to something? Cause you know, Magna ride is Magna ride, but how, how can you compare that to uh, like another shock or to how are we at? What can you expect versus something like, like I got a buddy with the 14 high country that doesn't have the Magna ride. So the Magna Ride, what it does is it takes, I think it's a thousand measurements a second. So it reads all the bumps in the road and it calibrates the strut to adjust to certain road conditions. So it'll stiffen up a little bit, it'll soften up. It, I mean, it really improves the ride quality. And I mean, unless you've driven a bunch, you can't really tell the difference, but it definitely helps. Um, so come around back. You got the side steps in the bumper, which help you get into the bed. That's a huge plus, it's nice. It's got the easy lower tailgate, easy close too, it's super light. This one has the factory installed GMC soft tri-folding tonneau cover, which is okay. I plan on upgrading it. That's one of the uh, the mods that we'll do this. We'll do a tri-folding um, tonneau cover. But as you can see, it opens up. You have plenty of space to put whatever you want in here. We fit, uh, fit a lot of spaghetti in here. Uh, That's a lot of spaghetti. A lot of spaghetti. Uh, another cool thing, with the side step, you get a handle in the bed. So when you're fat like me, you don't got balance. Just take your foot up on here and just climb on in. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Now, Jimmy, um, just so the people know here, uh, you're a German car technician, correct? Yes, I am. I'm and, sure. and I am a truck technician. Us in the industry, 
Granted, that's kind of shaped for a handle, but that's where your strap goes, buddy. Yeah, and no, that's where your strap goes. When you, you buy yourself a real truck and yep. you, you got all your, your spaghetti, you got to put a strap on to keep it from flying out. No, that's where the capital. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. But yeah, use it as whatever you want. You put stakes in there. You can, I guess, build a, uh, a nice wooden, what would you call that? The, uh, it's like a steak side bed? Yeah, steak side bed. I don't know why you can put that on Denali, but you can put a steak side bed on Denali. You the only guy, you have to stain it real good. You'd be the only <laughs> guy with a steak side bed in Denali. Why don't you go flip on them tailgate lights while we're hanging out here? Yeah, it's getting a little dark out. You can see them pretty well. So the cool thing is about these lights back here. It's got LED lights, which I'll show you in a second. But unlike most trucks, you can do it without the key and the ignition. So if you need to do something, you can just go in there, flip the switch, boom, they're on. So, I'll do that for you. Now, so, go ahead. you can see these, these light up pretty good. Actually, Jimmy, uh, go stand at the switch for a second. I want to see something. Yeah. Shut the switch off. So, toss my wall into the abyss. And you can kind of barely see it, and then you can clearly see it. So, it, you know, it is actually quite a difference for some stock little LED suckers on either side. They, they do perform pretty well. Jimmy, can you get my wallet? Didn't we just talk about me being fat and not very flexible or uh, having good balance? Fine, then hold the camera. <laughs> I got it. The truck has got to be useful. It's got to be able to haul your cash around. Bingo, bango, bongo. There's your wallet. Thank you. In it. Don't you worry about that. So, another mod that I plan on doing is getting the bed rug. The full one with the size and everything to protect it. I mean, it already has a spray and bed liner, but if you want to sit on the tailgate and do something, it's nice to have that little bit of cushion. Would you agree? Well, I would definitely agree. Uh, and you know, if you're using this for dirt and whatnot, or landscape projects, you don't want the bed rug, but it's also not a permanent fixture. You just Velcro it in there and pull it out. You oh, toss it in the garage. Pull it out. Um, well, you know, rule one, never pull out. Um, but, you know, you toss like golf clubs or something in there, or you got to move grandma's stuff. And toss grandma right in the back there she'll have a nice comfy area because yeah, ideally the people who are buying these trucks they still kind of want a little bit of live a little bit they got a classy lifestyle they like golf and they got all the fancy stuff that's why they got a denali ultimate like myself like golf i'm not that great but with another video <laughs> so around back you got your usual trailer plug connectors now th this is nice for the trailer guys out here you got your round plug here and then you don't actually have to run an adapter they got the four plug down below yep so you don't have to run that plug in adapters that, that get loose all the time and rot out another thing we got around back is rear parking sensors i don't know if you guys saw it from the front but there's also front parking sensors so it's a big truck and gm thought about that and they got sensors there so you're covered it'll tell you when you're getting close to things um, oh man somebody's putting it in the ketchup that's somebody hauling butt Never mind, it's a Honda. Sorry, everybody who likes Honda. Anyways, um, so we did. I did do one modification to this truck already, and I've had it about what two weeks. Yeah, just about. Took me about a day to get bored of it. So we got a MBRP three and a half inch installer series exhaust on here. I didn't do the stainless one because I wasn't entirely sure how I was gonna like it. Maybe you're getting a good angle. I don't know. I'm kind of guessing here. <laughs> um, it does sound pretty good. We'll give it a little sound clip at the end. And I'll do like a dedicated exhaust video. If you guys want to hear that, I'm sure you do. Um, so I bought it. It has, I think, 25% tint in the front. Give or take it. I mean, uh, but uh, yeah. And then the Denali Ultimate also has the IntelliBeam headlights. So it has automatic high beam when you're going down the road. And the newer ones, I think it was, I think it was 2016. They updated the front end, so you get different style LED fog lights, which are super bright. 
you get the different style from uh, front grill. That was definitely a GTI. That was definitely a Mark V. Anyways, back to the truck. Um, as I was talking about, it's got the front parking sensors. So if you get close to something in this truck, it doesn't just beep at you and show you. The seat actually actually vibrates where there is an object, so it'll tell you. Just in case you like can't hear anything or you know, not paying attention. So another thing that Denali Ultimate has is chrome recovery hooks. They look good. I'm assuming they're gonna get kind of messed up if you ever have to use them. Hopefully you don't, but that is the most bougie thing I've ever seen <laughs> in my life. Um, what else? You can't really see it right now, but this is the slate gray metallic is what they call it. If I can figure it out, I'll update, I'll upload a picture in the video to show you, but it's, it's like this gray, blue, green color. It's really nice. It's got a really nice flake to it. Of course, he's shining it on the only stone chips in the hood. <laughs> This is also a Streamlight Wedge, not a sponsor, but a great light. If you're looking at a truck video, you probably like lights. So. You wanna come around the side? Yeah. Back up a little bit, get them like a full side profile. So. As you could probably see, it's got a lot of rake to it, which I'm not a huge fan of, which leads me to my uh, third modification that will be happening pretty soon. And I'll be getting a two inch Rough Country Magna Ride blood link. So it should raise the front up a little bit just to give it like a nice even look. Um, I know they give it the rake so when you're telling stuff it squats out and it's bubbles out, but I'm not doing too much telling, so I'm not worried about it. I might put bigger tires out down the road, I don't know. I don't really want to sacrifice any performance just yet. But yeah, it's going on the inside. As you can see, it's got the Ox, Onyx Black interior. I mean, it's nothing special, really. It's just a GMC interior. It's got the 8-inch digital uh, cluster, which gives you a lot of information. But yeah, pretty straightforward. It's got the Intel Link system, which is pretty nice, easy to use. It's got the wireless charging in the center console. Massive center console. You can fit everything in there like three boxes of Twinkies. It's got a, a power sunroof standard. It's got a power sliding rear window. I mean, this truck's got all the bells and whistles, LED interior lights, everything's just up to date. It's really nice truck. It's got the Bose premium sound system with the seven speaker. So it's got the uh, seven speaker, which is the subwoofer in the center console. Gives you a nice bass and whatnot. It's not like the old Bose. It's got some good highs and good lows. Bax, he's got a lot of room. Definitely. I'll hop in there. Okay. So as you can see, I'm sitting behind myself right here. I'm about 5'10-ish. And it's not the biggest truck in the class, but it's definitely got enough leg room. It's super comfortable. I mean, these seats are super soft. Joe sat back here, you know. So soft. Um, he's actually going to be spending most of the time back here when we go to car shows. He'll be sitting while I'm towing the other car, which we'll reveal in another video. Just to be clear, his girlfriend will be on the front seat. I just don't pick the back seat. I'm, <laughs> I'm out of a child seat and legally able to sit in the front. Why don't you pop the hood? So, under the hood, like I mentioned before, it is an L86, which is a little brother to the uh, LT1, which is in the Camaros and the Corvettes. So uh, if I can figure out how to open this, there we go. Rated for 420 horsepower, 460 pound feet of torque. It definitely gets moving. I think it was the fastest truck in the class, actually. Zero to 60 is about 5.6 seconds, quarter miles low 14s at 98 ish miles an hour. Don't quote me on that, but. How much horsepower does this sit right now? Right now? Yeah. 420. I mean, the exhaust might add something, but I will say it did pick up a nice seat of the pants uh, improvement with now, the exhaust. I'm going to ask a question because. Uh all the viewers watching this video right now, and I really hope there are viewers watching this video, they're going to have this question, and we need an answer, Jimmy. Yep. How many ducks is that? How many ducks? Sounds like a lot of ducks. It's about 13,322 ducks. That's a lot of ducks. That's a lot of ducks. And it'll, that'll get you where you need to go. Oh, yeah. That's a, a lot of quacks. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go. 
I mean, it's not much to see. It's stock. But one thing I do like about Chevy, I know Ford does it too, but you know, when you're a truck guy and you use your truck for camping, traveling, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, and the Denali's no exception, and it, it shouldn't include exclude you from a lot of things, is they still keep the second battery box, and you can order straight from GM the auxiliary battery additional package, which gives you the jumper harness to put in a second battery, and you can get the higher output alternator, so you can run accessories and stuff because this does have a 110 volt outlet in it with a power inverter so when you're out on your camping trip and you want your espresso or what have you 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 can run it so as you can see we got the uh led daytime running lights the intel beams like i mentioned and the fog lights just aren't aren't on right now but pretty bright lights coming from the mercedes with the uh, super bright leds these are definitely nice so yeah so we're running out of daylight right here so we're gonna keep it Probably gonna end the video pretty soon. Uh, All right. Well, here's uh, here's what we're gonna do, Jimmy. Cause I mean, I've said it before. I know what the people want, and it's spaghetti capacity, duck power, and for you to floor this thing right now. So what we're gonna do? You're gonna come. You're gonna drive around. Give a little sound bite, and I'll meet you down in Mexico. We'll see what happens. Oh,